everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter. And today I've got a couple of things for you. First of all, I got some of those gridded trays that I've been hearing about. So I'm gonna try them out for you and see what you guys think about them. And I also got a restock from Craftably. I wanted this so bad when they had their make it or break it sale and I didn't get it, I missed it, but they restocked it and it's still in stock right now. So let's go into the painter's place and see what I got for you. See you in there. And we are back in the painter's place. <clears throat> As I always do at the beginning of my videos, I'm gonna show you my progress on uh, my diamond paintings. I am well underway with Dreaming of Being Human. This is a Dakota Dateweiler, one of my all-time favorite artists. I just love her. And today is the first day of Dakotathon. Are you gonna get your Dakota on? I hope so. It's gonna be a really fun event. I will go live on Monday at six o'clock central with Dakota and Pam and Carissa, my collab partners, and we will kick off Dakotathon. We've got all kinds of prizes. It's gonna be an epic event. I'm very excited. Um, <clears throat> I started this before obviously before today um and i mean i'm not in the contention for any prizes anyway so i can kind of do what i want yay but um i have as you know worked with cheryl and tina of dp with sparklers and i have enhanced yeah i mean just the the crud out of this painting um as you can see from up here at the top can they see this honey from up here at the top all the way down I kind of swept around. I, I guess it was just the water that was giving me that vibe. So I just kind of swept from the top to the bottom. I, I always start at the bottom right of my paintings, but I've got her arm and her hand done, the water all the way from the top. Then it comes down, <clears throat> excuse me, to the bottom. And then I'm moving up to the other side and then I'll go straight up the middle. Um, I started a little bit on her hair, but I have enhanced with bubbles. Uh, with quad cubes for um, some of the symbols that, I mean, and they just look like bubbles coming up from the water. Also wanted to call your attention, the reason why we enhance is obviously to make paintings extra sparkly and give it that ooh la la factor, but also it's for depth. And what I mean by depth is it adds just a depth of color in uh, whatever you're diamond painting. Um, I am following the instructions that Tina and Cheryl uh, laid out in their plan for this particular painting. Um, they are, um, if they are out of the enhancement kit on DP with sparklers for this particular kit, they are replenishing as we speak. They're working as fast as they can, guys. They also have some information up uh, for Glass Mermaid and for Saint. So uh, get on DP with Sparklers. Um, also their Facebook page has all the information for these enhancement kits. So thank you so much, Tina, uh, Tima and uh, Cheryl for your time and effort in creating these enhancement kits for our event. I'm very excited. For those of you that are going, well, what the heck is Dakotathon? You're not alone. Um, it is an event that we are doing in April. It is a two month event. It will go uh, April and May. And um, we started today. There is a Dakotathon Facebook group. So get on that Facebook group and you can find out all the information for this event. But um, I just wanted to show you, again, just the depth of color with these enhancements. And there are quite a few of them on this one. This, this painting's already heavy because of all, all of the drills I've put down. But as you can see over here, can I see this piece? You can see where I have put some, um, sparklers for squares they're round i know it's strange people I, I did it the first time too i'm like but they're round and this is a square kit you can't tell i promise um but uh there are two different colors of those i've enhanced this lionfish um, some of the bubbles you can see i've enhanced but you can really see where those dp with sparklers just add depths to the water and texture to the water so um, if you haven't blinged up a kit yet, I highly recommend it. It's so much fun. Um, so that's where I am. I'm kind of right up here in this corner. I'm gonna uh, finish up this corner tonight and then go straight up the middle and work uh, her face and her hair and, and all of that. But I am very excited. Look at these bubbles. It looks like the fish is just making bubbles that are just going up with all the bubble drills and the 
um, quad cube. So excited for this one. All right, let's put this one down. And I have a finish. I have a finish, people. Yay, 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 yay. I'm very excited about this one. This one is one that has probably been the biggest surprise to me um, in my diamond painting journey um, that I've ever had. It was muted colors. I loved the image to start off with, but I just did not think I was gonna enjoy doing this one as much as I have. I have sealed this one, so you can see it did not take the sparkle off these drills at all. Um, I did use, uh, this is a Distracted by Diamonds. This is artist Bob Doucette. The title of the piece is Brambles, and um, it is not on her site anymore, but she's got more beautiful images on her site. I really highly recommend you going to Distracted by Diamonds. She is on Etsy. Um, she sells paddy wax, she sells super sticky paddy wax, cover minders, and these beautiful diamond paintings. She does offer a variety of styles of diamond painting, so if this may not be your style, there are other styles that you can uh, look at. Um, she does a whole wide variety, but I just, I finished this one, and guys, I cannot quit staring at it. I did not enhance this in any way, shape, or form because this is the first Distracted by Diamonds I have completed. Um, the drills were great. I had plenty of drills to finish this project. Did not run out of anything or, or come close. Um, I mean, they were low, obviously, in some bags, but did not even come close. I did seal this with um, her sealer. She does have a sealer on her site, Distracted by Diamonds, and I used it to seal this, and I really like the way uh, that it came out. The canvas was, was a pleasure to work on had no problems with stickiness. I mean, I just didn't have any problems. And the rendering, I mean, it's it's perfection. It is absolute perfection. I cannot wait to get this framed and up on my wall. Um, I just, I love it. I love the expression on her face. It's really hard with faces to get lips to turn out well. Her lips are just amazing. Anyway, um, I just, I love this piece, love the brambles. Um, and the effect that they uh, create going around her and the bunnies and the birds. So thank you, Robin at Distracted by Diamonds. I love this one. That's my post review. Guys, I really stink at post reviews. Um, I don't probably go into the detail that other people do, but you can see the finish. And um, yeah, I'm very excited about this finish. Love it. I posted it on all my social media when I got done. Love, love, love it. Okay, now... Let's get into why we are here today. We are here today because I kept hearing about these trays, gridded trays. Anybody heard about these gridded trays and people are liking them, they're not liking them. Um, so I bought three. Uh, the first uh, company that I bought my first uh, tray from, I've not uh, taken it out of the bubble wrap. This one is from Creations by LEP. I will link this below. As you've noticed, I've gotten better at linking. Um, this is a tray, but it does have a feature on it that I think will be very helpful uh, for these gridded trays because the biggest complaint about these trays, and you're gonna see it in a second, is when they're gridded and you're trying to dump the drills back into your little containers, uh, it's difficult and apparently they fly everywhere. So we're gonna test out a few of them and just see how they do. All right, so this is a funnel, as you can see. It looks like a big funnel. It's, it's also the top to the tray, okay? So this will be interesting. Again, this is Creations by LEP. Thank you so much, LEP, for this. You also get your tray. Your tray also has a sliding cover. Oh, wow, it has two different stoppers. I guess uh, depending on whatever mood you're in, you have a little diamond or is that a hex? It's a hexagon and then you have a heart. So these are your stoppers. There's where your drills come out if you want them to come out that way. I have not played with these trays, guys. I'm warning you, it may be a little bit of a struggle for me. Sometimes these 3D trays, you gotta play with them a little bit, but you do have an extra stopper and a sliding lid. Okay, so when you slide the lid off, see what you've got? You've got these grids, can they see it? In the bottom of the tray. Now this is what they call a multi-placing tray. And they have a variety of lengths of these slots where your drills go in. 
I happen to have some sparklers from Tima because if we're gonna have to look at drills, we may as well look at sparkly ones, correct? So I'm gonna pour these in the tray so you kind of, I can kind of demonstrate for you. And these are squares and squares are sometimes tricky. So I did squares on purpose. I'm gonna shaky, shaky, shake. Okay, all right, some of them. I sometimes shaky, shaky, shake too hard. Okay, so as you can see, they have lined up. Now I have not used these trays to dip into and put drills down on my canvas, but as you can see, they're lining up. Uh, one, a couple of sections look like threes, then they move to fours. Then uh, over here, you've got fives. So you have a variety of, uh, that's, that's cool. So you have a variety of choices. I probably didn't pour enough drills into this. I was a little scared, but anyway, so you have your different sections so that you can select if you need to place three drills down, there you go. If you need to place two drills down, there you go. That's interesting, I didn't realize that. That is really cool. Okay, so now I'm finished diamond painting. I have diamond painted my life away. I don't put the regular lid on this tray. I take this funnel and I'm gonna see how well it fits on here. I have not played with these. Okay, it fits pretty snug. All right, so what you're gonna do, I love this feature and it helps obviously your drills from not spilling out. So now I'm gonna dump them back in. So I put the funnel in and I start dumping. Now, the hard part is you can't see the drills in the tray when you're dumping, but um, based on people's complaints about these gridded trays, this is a great solution. So if you're interested in a gridded tray and, and have found others to be uh, problematic, go to Creations by LEP because obviously LEP has, and it's E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, not L-E-P, the letters. But um, obviously Ellie has um, foreseen that problem and solved it. So um, all of my drills went back into the container very easily. Okay, if you like gridded trays, highly recommend this one. Um, the tray is very sturdy. Um, and then if you want, um, if you don't want your cat to jump up on your diamond painting area, I'm not putting it in correctly, there we go. Okay, and then you can slide your lid on so if you drop it, it doesn't spill your drills out. All right, thank you, LEP. I'm gonna put this other stopper in the tray. Well, maybe I won't. Oh, there's a reason why it wasn't in the tray because it doesn't fit. Um, thank you, LEP. That is an awesome solution for your slotted trays. Okay, the next company that I'm going to show you is a company, and I've got it written down, Anita's Dream Creations. And the reason I wrote it down was there wasn't a business card or anything in here. It was interesting. This was the first company that I saw with these gridded trays. Anybody else care about these gridded trays? Maybe I've been living under a rock and hadn't heard about them. Okay. So here is the first tray, and you guys know me, I've said this before, I am kind of a hybrid diamond painter, meaning I like to single place, but I also like to multi-place. So I got two different types of trays. So this first one is a single placing tray, meaning there are no longer slots. So I'm gonna pour these drills in this tray. I'm gonna shaky, shaky, shaky and see what happens. Okay, so what happens when you shake this tray is your drills start filling in these little slots and the squares are going into these slots nicely. And you can see now that the drills are in the slots, you can kind of see it a little bit better. It does have a stopper that comes out uh, for you to pour your drills back in. But I also saw on this same site, if you are like me, you like to be hybrid. So, this is a tray, does come with a lid that slides off. This is what's called a hybrid, meaning you can dump your drills in here and you have opportunities to multi-place and to single place. So if you are kind of like me and don't know what you're gonna feel like from day to day, I'll just dump them all in, aren't they pretty? These are, for those of you wondering, these are crystal ABs and this is number 703. So I'm gonna dump these in and shaky, shaky, shake, shaky, shaky, shake. Okay, so I don't like to take a whole lot of time shaky, shaking, but all right. Well, hang on. 
Okay, I probably poured too many drills in here, but you can see they're going into the slots and then here, let me do this. Okay, and then you can see that there are opportunities to multi-place at the other end. Now, what people are saying, the problem with these trays are, is that the drills, let me see something real quick. Yeah, I probably put a little, a lot in here. Um, is that, okay, so I've diamond painted and I've got these drills left in my tray. What people are saying the problem with these trays is, is that when you go to dump them back into your container, these pop all over the place and, and spill everywhere. So let me see how these work. So this is the single placing tray and you can get you know larger trays with these grids or you can get the hybrid where you can multi-place and single place. I don't know if I'm digging this one too much because again, anyway, okay. So I'm gonna take the stopper out of this tray. And here I go, guys. I have never done this before. So I'm gonna see how, see how it goes. So far, so good, I haven't lost any. Okay, this is working out fine. Okay. So this worked out fine. Um, you may have to be a little bit more careful, but um, these didn't fly all over the place. I got them all in my container first attempt, which is a miracle for me. So that, uh, okay, I can work with that. This one's gonna be interesting because there is no funnel and there is no, um, there's no, um, what am I trying to say here with, <laughs> Well, it doesn't have an area where you can uh, funnel your drills down to. It's just out, kind of out of the corner of the tray, which is why I'm a little bit more afraid of this one. Now, an option might be to take this cover and put it back on the tray. Let me see if I can do this. I'm tappy tapping the bottom. Okay, so what I did was I put the cover back on the tray, tapped them all to the bottom, and then, okay, spelling a few. It's not ideal, but it's not horrible. And I guess I could maybe scoochy the tray over a little bit more to create more of a, a channel for, okay, now when I scooted the, the cover down farther, they went in a little bit better and I don't have any drills left in my tray. So, all right, so those are gridded trays. So um, if you have used these gridded trays, and um, like I said, I have never experienced these before, uh, but wanted to show them to you. Um, I don't know um, how they work, but I'll be interested to uh, put some drills in them that I'm using and see how well they work, and I will get back with you on that. But I wanted to show you a couple of options. So again, um, these two, are from Anita's Dream Creations. This one, whoops. This one, again, it does have the lid, it does have the stopper and the funnel that goes over. I, that one worked really well too. That one is from Creations by uh, L.E.P. So um, yeah, so interesting, interesting. I just wanted to share with you um, those little trays. Things that I got, I will put these to the side. Oh, might might want to put the cover on my drills so I don't spill them all over the place. So those are gridded trays. I'll link those two stores down below. Interesting. I like trying out new things. Anybody else? Put it in the comments. Do you like to try out new things, or do you just get stuff and use the stuff that you're familiar with? Sometimes I do that too. We ha all have our favorites. All right. To wrap this video up. I have an unboxing from none other than Craftably. Oh, okay. So they had their make it or break it sale and I didn't get this one. And then I saw that it came back into stock and I was fired up. So I got it. This one is Violet Icing. It's a JBG Jasmine Beckett Griffith. It's a 12 by 16 inch round. Um, I do have a tape measure now, so I'll convert that to centimeters. She's so pretty and I love the purples. Um, <clears throat> Craftably does send you a toolkit. It is separate. It's not in the kit anymore. It's just in the box. So I got that. 
And this is from Amy, um, the one of the owners, Michael and Amy, are just amazing people. Uh, love them dearly. She says, hello, thanks so much for your order. I wish I could sit across from you and chat while you work. It's such a joy to get to know people in the crafting community. You all mean the world to us. Enjoy Craftably Yours, Amy, a.k.a. Crafty Wife. So you always get a sweet note from her. And that those notes are personally handwritten. I don't see how she, her hand must be really hurting. All right, so in your Craftably toolkit, man, Craftably was like the first company that added all kinds of fun sussies to their uh, toolkits. So you get a basic toolkit. I won't go into that too much, but it's very nice. You have a boat with a funnel, two plates of wax, a squishy, a pen, and you have two multi-placers. Looks like two four-placers in there. You also get a pair. Oh, I have to show you these. They're so pretty. They're purple tweezers. Love Craftably's purple tweezers. Uh, they do come with a sheath. They are pointy. Uh, do not poke your eyeball out. Keep that, that sheath on them. But isn't that a pretty color purple? Can you tell I'm ready for spring? I'm liking all the pastel colors. Got my nails done. They look like Easter eggs. You know, just cannot wait for spring. I know it's snowing where some of you are. I'm so sorry. All right. In addition to your basic toolkit, they do add some sussies. You get a pot of Craftably's branded wax. There is a plastic covering when you unscrew the lid of this. There's a plastic covering on the wax. Make sure you take the plastic covering off or you will get no wax in your pen. Two washi tapes. Oh, I love these. One has stars. Gives me patriotic vibes. What is this? Okay, this one. Okay, this one's Christmassy. So these washi tapes are random, but it really doesn't matter. You know, when Christmas comes, I'm going to have some Christmassy washi tape. So that's very nice. Two rolls of it. And... The elusive hedgehog. I think my, yeah, so my magnet came off in transit. No problem. I've got E6000 glue that will take care of that. I love the hedgehogs. They're so cute. All right, let me pull him out. Cover minders. These are magnets. You get two magnets. Are they glued together? Okay, I may have to, well, no, are they not? well maybe they are. I don't know. Or, or either, either that or they're very strong or my fingers are just weak. I will have to. Mm. All right, I will separate these magnets. There are two magnets. One goes on the back of the cover minder, the other one comes off. Uh, when you peel back the plastic on your diamond painting, you put the uh, one magnet underneath the paint painting and keep the cute little hedgehog on the top. And you can hold your plastic back so it doesn't flippy floppy around. But look at that cute hedgehog. Looks like a raspberry. It's not a strawberry, it's a little raspberry. So I'll get these glued back on. So I will have my cute little hedgehog cover minder. So that is what you get in the Craftably Toolkits. All right, let's see this painting. I'm so excited. Oh, I wanted this and it was gone. Oh my goodness, I got another toolkit? Wow, Craftably doubled up on the toolkit. Well, you know what's in here, so I won't take time uh, opening it up, but gosh, Craftably, thank you so much. All right, normally they're not in the uh, boxes with the paintings, but I got it. Okay, so this isn't a very big one, look. Wow, okay. Does come in a nice dust bag to keep dust and gunk off your painting. Let me roll this back. Oh yes, I forgot. This does come with a little piece of tape that holds the painting together. It does not impact the canvas whatsoever. It's a very um, light adhesive on the tape. You just unpeel it and you're, you're good to go. Craftably's canvases are scalloped and people don't like to say surged anymore, so I'll say poked to prevent fraying. Um, they're very felty feeling. They are very pliable and they're very high quality canvases. I have done uh, three Craftably canvases to date and I have had no problem with any of them. Oh wow, it's smaller than I thought, yay. Okay, so this will be quick to do. It's also a poured glue canvas, which you can tell from the clear plastic cover. If it's got a white cover, do not do this or you can damage your canvas. I roll it backwards and zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. These are self-flattening canvases, so you don't have to do that, but I'm impatient and wanna show you the image faster. All right, what else do you get? I love this. So you get this whole thing is a sticker sheet. These are all pre-cut labels, 51 colors. <gasps> oh, good Lord. One, two, three, four, five ABs and two special drills. It is a 12 by 16 inch 
Oh my gosh. And it is a round. So with your round kits, you are uh, going to get some uh, rhinestones more than likely. So you can put these on your containers. Five, one, two, three. I counted correctly. Five ABs and two special drills. We'll have to get into that in a second. This is a logbook sticker. You can peel it off, put it in a logbook. Uh, it's got a start and finish date for you. I, I put these in my logbooks all the time. These are just because stickers where you can, you know, I sweat glitter and I love DP and just diamonds and all kinds of stuff. So it, it tells you the name and, and everything else. You also get large, I love this. These labels, I love, they're blank, but you can stick them on um, containers to label like the, um, the sparklers I just showed you. Um, I've got some art dot containers that I have my sparklers in. These would be perfect to label those with. So lovely, thank you Craftably. The whole thing, again, a sticker. You do get a pamphlet with information regarding diamond painting. And here are your drills. Okay, let's see the canvas. I love it. Oh, oh my gosh. I could work this up so quick, guys. So quick. Look. Oh my. Okay, let's see how many centimeters this is. I'm going to have to put on my old. I have my old lady glasses. I am prepared. Write this down. Kara's prepared. Imagine that. Okay. So this is my centimeter. So it says... What does it say? 12 inch by 16 inch, which means in centimeters, this is just shy of 32 centimeters wide and the zero where it's supposed to be, uh, uh, almost 41. So um, that's your dimensions in centimeters. So almost a 41 by, what did I say? Thir almost 32, 41 by almost, almost 41 by almost 32. So 40 by 30. That is going to be awesome to do. You could work this up so quickly, guys. 51 colors and it's around. I love their, uh, their drills come pre-bagged. There is a sticker on the bag of drills in case you store your drills separately from your canvas with the, with the image on it. Isn't that darling? I love the purples. Violet icing. I love the title too. Um, when they're bagged up like this, I don't even kid up. I don't, um, I may take the stickers from the sticker sheet I showed you and stick them on the bags, but, um, that's all you have to do. You don't have to take them out of the kit. Uh, Distracted by Diamonds, um, that, those were pre-bagged as well. So I just got my Bella Art Day Nicole, um, drill holder and went to town. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm going to save those. All right, so here is your color palette for this beauty. Lots of colors. So I'm thinking there's going to be some confetti. Let's look. I'm just going to lay these out so you can see. Escapes drills, escapes drills. All right, we'll figure that out. Do we have? All right. Laying them all out for you. Hopefully everyone is having a great weekend. Marlon, are you having a great weekend? <laughs> Yay, Marlon's having a great weekend. There goes the Marlon. You requested it. He provides entertainment during these videos, I swear. Okay, ooh, there are lots of loose drills. I'm gonna have to, okay. These are all going to go back in this big bag, and I'll get them where they need to be. Um, Craftably always provides more than enough drills to finish the project. Um, like when they're like this and they're above the zipper line, just take your finger, slide it open, and those drills just tap, 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 and those drills go right back inside. So I think some of them were just kind of over the top. But yes, this is back in stock. I know they had several back in stock, so if you like this one, go grab it. Here's another one where drills trying to escape. No, don't escape, don't escape. All right, so here is your color palette. All right, so that's beautiful colors. Look at all the purples. Oh my gosh, so pretty, so, so pretty, love it. All right, so here are where uh, your ABs and your special drills are. Look at this teal AB. It is beautiful. Oh, I rarely see a color like that. Kara, what is an AB? 
AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on the tops of these drills that capture facets of light and color from the environment and the drills around it and just makes them all together now shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer just a little bit more. So pretty. And look at this one. This is, oh, I love this in an AB. It's a purple AB. Beautiful. I'm seeing blues and golds all kinds of things in there. And then there are a couple of lighter. This is a pinkish purple AB. And this is a little bit darker pinkish purple AB. So you're gonna get some dimension there with the two different colors and then um, white. This looks like 141. Um, these ABs are not uh, numbered with DMC codes, but I'm thinking that's 141. That looks pretty, pretty close to it. And I love the white because it captures all of the colors. And then look at your special drills. Of course, we're going to have purple rhinestones, right? I'll turn it over so the label's not in the way. Look at those beautiful rhinestones in purple. And then, ooh, you got some red rhinestones. Okay, more of the fronts are here. Let me shaky, shaky down there. So you can see that um, it's beautiful. Okay, let me scoochie all of these drills over. I'm going to flip it over and show you where these go, and then I will be on my way and allow you to enjoy your weekend. Thank you for making it with me this far. If you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Kara. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. And for those of you that keep coming back and supporting the channel, thank you so much. I love you guys more than you know and uh, appreciate you more than you know. Um, if you like unboxings and you like fun, um, I'm your girl. So if you've not, uh, hit that subscribe button. Um, it is a black button. YouTube has changed some of its settings, but it is a black button that you can hit that is a free way to support my channel. Um, also, again, make some comments down in the comments on what you think about these things. Would you try a gridded tray? Um, you know, that's always helpful as well. Okay, so let's get into where these AB, ABs go. Okay, so let me peel back this nice, thick plastic. It's very nice. It's very thick. You can hear it. Is the canvas sticky? Yes, I believe it's sticky. Ugh, can't get my fingers off of it. Okay, love these covers. High quality. Okay, this is a small enough canvas where I should be able to find these ABs, correct? There's some in the dragon's, um, the dragon's horns on the dragon's face. There's some in her eyes. That's nice to make them sparkly. Um, there's some O's in the breastplate of the dragon, some in the dragon's wings, um, over here. I don't know what this size to, oh, it's her hair. Hello, Kara. It is her hair over here. <laughs> so that's that O, that's, uh, that white, uh, AB, which would be this one. Um, let's see, there's a symbol Y and that is AB209, which is this. I'm assuming the Y is maybe in the dragon's wings. I don't know. Yes, in the dragon's wings. There's some Y. Where else? I've got another escaped drill. Where is that inside? Oh, that's inside. Hang on. Let me get this escaped drill out of here. Come on. Thank you. All right. Uh, any Ys in her eyes? I do not see any Ys. There's Ys in her hair over here. And uh, again, in the dragon's wings. AB210 is this lighter uh, lavender, and that is a, uh, what I call a sideways T. Sorry for, I just call uh, symbols different names. So sideways T. Okay, there's some of the dragon's wings. These dragon's wings are going to be very sparkly. Uh, any other sideways T's? I'm looking in her eyes. I'm looking up here in her hair. I don't see any. Again, they're going to be in this dragon's... Uh, in the dragon's wings, some right here in the center of the dragon. And that is, I believe, all she wrote for that. Um, AB 792, which is this beautiful purplish blue color, that's going to be a sideways staple. So it's just a, looks like a staple that's turned on its back, again, down here in the dragon. Um, any other sideways staples that I see? Uh, over here. Um, looks like the dragon's tail is curled around the dragon. So over here in this corner, lots in that dragon's tail. And I believe that's where those go. There is a down arrow, AB959, which is your beautiful teal. Um, and that's going to be right here in these dragon's wings, all highlighting here and here. Some in the dragon's tail. 
Also, this one, AB792, yes, is going to be in um, the, uh, on the dragon's head. Sorry, I missed that one. Any other sideways staples? Or, I'm sorry, down arrows. I don't see any. Okay, so those are going to be in the dragon. Uh, all right, now we are down to our special drills. Okay, this is going to be interesting. This is red, so I'm looking to see where the red is. That is an uh, that is a little triangle down in the lower left hand corner. They're going to be in her eyes. Hope they don't make her eyes look bloodshot. Um, <laughs> let's see where else. None in her lips. Ah, some in the dragon's eye down at the bottom. I guess it'll make it make them sparkly. And then the last crystal is a U, and that is uh, LZ uh, L two eight. Excuse me, LZ two o eight. If I can talk here. All right, you. Where is that you going to go? Ah, in her eyes. That's going to be beautiful. Let's see. Uh, here in her hair. Any U's on the dragon? I don't see any. Don't see any. All right, guys. I think that is it. All right. I present to you Violet Icing by Jasmine Beckett Griffith and Craftably. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you guys so much for being here, and thank you for the gridded trays. Let me get these back over here so you can see them. I will link the company names to the gridded trays in the description box below, and I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.